guys, it's me, Lara, and for today's video, I'm going to talk about SEA, multimedia, and SEA. So, this video will have two main topics. First, multimedia, and second, the influence of multimedia to the evolution of web. So, first, what is multimedia? Multimedia is a computer based interactive experience that incorporates text, graphics, sound animation, video, and virtual reality. So there are five types of multimedia. First, the graphical multimedia, it includes drawings and photos. So for an example of these are JPEG, PNG, and PMP. The second type of multimedia is animation multimedia. This includes 2D and 3D animation. And the third type of multimedia is video multimedia. It's, it includes movie files and video clips. So, the examples of these are MP4, AVI, and MPEG. The fourth type of multimedia is audio multimedia. It includes sound files. Examples are MP3, WAV, and WMV. And the last type of multimedia is text multimedia. It includes style fonts and design fonts. Examples are Arial, Bookman All Style, Century Gothic, and Times New Roman. So moving on to the next topic, the influence of so social. Huh? So moving on to the next topic about the influence of multimedia to the evolution of web. So first, who created World Wide Web? Tim Berners-Lee is the man who created the World Wide Web. He laid his first proposal on March 1989 of his web in a document called Information Management, a proposal. And on October of 1990, Tim wrote the three fundamental technologies that are still used these days. Those are HTML, URL, and HTTP. And on 1990, the WWW was born, and on 1991 to 1998, Web 1.0 was experienced to gather information by the researchers. So, what is World Wide Web? World Wide Web, or the Triple W as we call it, is a system link hypertext documents that are accessed via the internet. The World Wide Web has six evolutions, starting from Web 0.0 and was created on 1991. It is called the Developing Internet. It is mostly just read and text only web. Next evolution is a Web 1.0 and it was on 1994. It is called the Static Web and composed of shopping carts and images. The third evolution is the Web 2.0 and was created on 1999. It is called the Writing and Participating Web. It is a read, write, publish. The media use are audio and videos and it has also blogs which are used in social media today. And the fourth evolution, the Web 3.0, was created on 2008. It is called the Semantic Executive Web. It is a read, write, execute web service. It is a semantic markup and web service. So for the fifth evolution, the web 4.0 was created on 2012. It's called the web things or the mobile web. It is connected through devices that are wearables such as smartwatch and smart pens. And the devices were smart TVs and smart door locks. And also augmented reality was part of this web 4.0. And the last web evolution is Web 5.0, and it is on 2020. It is called the emotional web. Why? Because it perceives the user's feelings and emotions. It has facial recognition, and it, it is a read web execution and concurrency web. It is openly and intelligent web. It communicates with us like how we communicate with each other or to any other people. And that's it for our video guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something about multimedia and ICT and the influence of multimedia to the evolution of the web.